All right, what's going on guys? It's Jeb and welcome back to Call of Duty World War II. COD points available 1121. Oh yeah, I just remembered that. I think COD points were supposed to come out today on the 14th. And I think Activision realized like, uh, yeah, maybe we should uh, actually fix everything that people are having issues with before we go and put out this shit for microtransactions. It's actually surprising they did that. It really is. I expected them to just release it and then just like not even have like any communication kind of thing or whatever. Like, okay, I'm not having a lot of server issues or anything like that. The only actual issue, and it's not even really an issue is that the HQ is still empty and the headquarters was uh, limited down to you and anybody that you invited just so stabilize the servers at least that's what they're saying anyway as you can see here I am using a shoddy we are playing hardcore so in all of my videos that you've been seeing you haven't been seeing this part of my gameplay which is actually the main part of my gameplay in all my videos you've been seeing me snipe and you know just try to go off do some shit in free-for-all but the majority of my time has actually been sitting here in hardcore domination trying to get all these challenges done I have all the snipe rifles done all the submachine guns done all the LMGs done I should be able to get close to finishing out all the shotguns. I have one of them gold already, and this one is halfway done here, this uh, double barrel. Shotguns in hardcore, everything in hardcore on this game is just ridiculous. Everything one shots from any distance. You can wall bang people from pretty close. I mean, look, look at this shit. Basically, if you just have bullets shot at you, you're pretty much dead. So you, you die by some random shit sometimes. I mean, I'm not surprised, you know, when I die on here at this point. Die across the map. Usually, you know, in core, you're thinking snipe rifle or maybe an assault rifle. On here, you die and some dude that was playing on London docks just killed you with a shovel on fucking Aachen. Fuck off me. Fuck off me. I almost collided my boy, though. I actually almost hit a triple collat with this shotgun last night. I didn't save it because I was really disappointed, but there we go. 75 one-shot kill metal, which is way easier than going for headshots. I'm so happy they didn't have me go for headshots with this shotgun. Some people are still psychopaths, and they'll actually play this game mode uh, sniping, and they'll just use, like, a Lee Enfield or something. I mean, that's pretty legit. It's just, it's kind of difficult. It's definitely for the best that you're using the fastest snipe rifle. But yeah, if you're looking to get these camos, if you're looking to get all the diamond camos as quickly as possible, hardcore domination is the way to do it. Easiest way to get headshots, easiest way to get one shots, easiest way to go on like little streaks and stuff because people are completely unaware just because of there being no radar and all that other stuff. Super easy to go on streaks because you can just sit in a corner, kill somebody, kill a couple people, and then chill in another corner away from the crossover from out of their spawn. Like I could drop somebody right here and then just run up there and just wait for people to come out. That didn't happen that time, but you, you know. I'm using expeditionary just because it gives me the flame rounds and eh, it's kind of cheesy i've never used them before i know a lot of people get really really annoyed with the flame rounds the flame shoddy i don't really see it as like being way too strong or anything like that it is really fucking obnoxious though it's super obnoxious like i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna pretend like it's not coming from a sniper i know it's really annoying and frustrating to die in just one bullet and not only is it one bullet with this shotgun it is a spread it is a flaming shell i mean look at this shit oh there's no surviving. I just run hustle on shoddies regardless whether it's core or hardcore or anything. I'm also using expeditionary just because I need to make sure that I prestige it so I can try to go for V2 rockets because I did see, you know, quite a few people telling me to go for nuclears and V2 rockets and free-for-all. I will try that later when I actually get my camo and I really seriously start studying the game and like playing for hours and hours on end just specifically sniping, not having to change my play style up. Because with having to switch over between all of these different guns and doing all these different challenges and stuff like that, you have to play completely different. You have to just switch up a shit ton. Switch up more than a middle schooler when they get in trouble in class. Oh, it was him. He did it. Also, double XP is completely gone. I played that whole game out. I mean, I only got 17 kills and I actually went negative, but I only got 8,000 XP for that. Like this whole, it is painful. It is extremely painful. Just got this weird little thing for the back of my phone that doesn't allow my phone to fall when I'm holding it like this. They also let me have a custom one. It's Ari. It's my baby. My reaction times are a little slow. I'm a little uh, sleepy as well. Oh my God goodness. Like right here, see? You don't run out there with the shotgun because you're just going to get melted. I'm usually not the type of guy to talk about play styles or strategy and all this other shit, but maybe right around here there's going to be... I mean, look at that! The initial shell didn't even need to kill him. It was fire afterward. I think the flame rounds actually make it so you don't have as much range, but just way more upfront power, obviously, with a dot as well. Yeah, somebody else is using a shot. He laid my ass out. Laid me out harder than a college cheerleader. Like that motherfucker, he had no survivor. So the only reason that I play hardcore is to guarantee that you can get the one shots whenever you shoot people. In core sometimes, because these shotties, the double barrel and the sawed off are pretty god awful in core from what I know. The only one that's actually decent is I think the trench gun, which I've already completed. It felt great. I actually did a couple of the challenges in core just because I was tired of hardcore. It was pretty consistent, but everything else, it's not so much. Uh, the toggle action, I haven't used it yet, even though it is really fucking obnoxious. Fire, it's 
Oh, fuck. If I could go back, this is honestly, it's feeling a little familiar. This shotgun, it's not the exact same as, you know, the World at War double barrel. But I actually have a five on with the double barrel on uh, World at War. It has a triple collat in that as well. It's just so fucked. Hit a triple collateral with the double barrel. It's such a fucked clip. I think it's in like my 2K montage or some shit. I don't even know if that's up anymore. I have just like so many old clips that I completely forget about. Like two quad heads that I have on World at War. One with a Mosin, another one with a PTRS. So with this patch that's supposed to be coming or, well, the release of COD points, I don't even know if that's actually going to be a patch. But I'm wondering if at any point during this week, you know, or into the point where COD points go live on the 21st, seven days from now, one week, I'm wondering if the Chrome, the whole camo glitch is going to be fixed. I'm wondering how long this is actually going to be broken for. Like a part of me doesn't want it to be broken too long, but at the same time, I want them to hold off just a little bit until I, you know, I can get there just one challenge away. At the end of the day though, I just want to fix. <gasps> if I could have gotten a shot off, there were three people there and I had a flame round in. I could have probably set all three of them on fire, but would that be considered a triple collapse? This video is going to go up a little late, by the way. Um, I had a couple things to do. I had to wake up early and do a couple things, and then I tried to take a nap in the middle of it, and more shit happened that I completely forgot was supposed to happen today, so speaking of forgetting things, uh, FaZe uploaded a Team Taj yesterday. Team Taj number two is a short but sweet, and I mean fucking sweet Team Taj. I wasn't in it. I mean, I was there. I was in it in spirit. Like 90% of the clips in that thing had the Jeff Clan tag. I'm just saying, I'm not taking credit or anything, but I'm just saying, I don't know if anybody would have hit any of those clips without the clan tag. And also speaking of the FaZe Clan channel, when you go to check that out, either watch out for it today, tomorrow. I don't really know when it's supposed to be up, but you know, keep an eye out for it. They tweeted out a while ago that the FaZe top five plays is bad. Episode one will be uh, commentated by me. It's really, I already recorded it. It's really obnoxious. I mean, I guess we'll see if people love it or hate it in the end. Hopefully when it comes out, uh, there won't be too much hate. And this little motherfucker right here. Fuck you. I can't wait until I'm done using these shotguns because I think the next one after this one I need to use a toggle action. Why is my teammate shooting me you fucking gonna get my revenge kill? That's for killing me, asshole. It's the nice thing about hardcore. If anybody's gonna grief you, you just kill them back. And I'm not encouraging anybody to team kill. It's just, uh, don't shoot me on purpose. Then I won't have to blow your shit off. It's one thing if it's by accident. Dude, actually, he went out of his way, took a couple shots at me, and then waited for me to get in his sight. Are you fucking- He meleeed me. I'll wait for him to respawn. You better hope he doesn't respawn in front of me. Fuck you! Yeah, hardcore isn't really, um, it's not the healthiest environment, uh, because sometimes people will recognize me and then, like, purposefully follow me around and kill me over and over and over again, or they'll realize I'm on a streak and then, like, walk over to me and shoot me in the head or something. I mean, it sucks, but I'm simply really shouldn't even be going for streaks or anything like that. It's just when you get to the bloodthirsties, it's kind of, it's difficult. I didn't have any issues with getting bloodthirsties until I had to use the shotguns and had to switch up my playstyle. I didn't have any issues with the bloodthirsties until I went to the shotgun. Just because the shotgun playstyle just doesn't fit me at all. Usually with a sniper rifle, I'm long medium range, you know? Close range, I'm really not that great. So having a play style where I need to sit around and work corners like way harder, it's yeah. Like that, if I was sniping, I don't want this situation. Sit there and panic and half the no scope and hope that it hits is just not good. It's just not a smart way to play. You either take that corner before he does or, or you wait for him to take the corner before you when you stand back and wait from the cross. All right, 101 shots. All right, now, now after you get the 101 shots, you need to go for bloodthirsties, uh, paybacks, 50 kills with expeditionary, 50 kills without expeditionary any other division the worst thing is is that the grenades on hardcore there is no indicator for friendly grenades so you just constantly die by them all the time and you really just don't want to throw actual frag grenades in hardcore it's uh it's it's bad it's uh it's not good the amount of times where i've accidentally killed people and i didn't mean to do it on purpose and then they get pissed off that i needed them and then they kill me multiple times in spawn it's just playing this game mode is not going to be doing your kd any favors to be honest with you if you're specifically going for the challenges anyway if you're just a hardcore player yeah sure you can have a high kd you know how to play it but if you're going into this is just trying to get the challenges how to get your diamond camos fastest you definitely 100 want to be in hardcore domination but yeah that phase top five be on the lookout for that it was really weird going back and commentating over things i used to be a lot of people already know this people that watched me you know for a long long time or you know have watched videos before where i've talked about me doing it previously i used to be a commentator for uh cod shot of the day which was like the biggest cod clip thing that everybody sent shit into the cod shot of the day i think i did a fourth of july one back in like fucking 24 2013, 20 some shit. I did like two or three other ones. I also did what was it? X COD shots? Or maybe I sent the clip into X COD shots. I can't remember. But I used to be a commentator for like commentating clips and stuff like that. And it's been so long since I've done it that it was it was really weird commentating over clips, honestly. Um, I don't know why I made this shit like in my head so much more difficult than it needs to actually be. Like just watch it over, just talk about it, react to it. I mean shit, with all the react channels out there, I should learn how to, you know, do this. It's, it, I, I'm okay. I've done a good amount of react videos. Every single gun, every single challenge in this mode. I've done like 95% of them all in this mode. It's gonna include the pistol when I do it too. Oh shit. 
What what the fuck was that? I hit what wait, what did I hit triangle to swap to the pistol and the dude had an aneurysm. Anyway, yeah, uh, that's probably the easiest way to get uh diamond camos. I don't really know how I'm gonna name this video. I feel like titling it how to get diamond camos easier just seemed uh, uh. But yeah, that's what I've been doing for the past shit since release. I've just been doing all these ridiculous challenges out here. See the combat shotgun here. This one's already done. This one has gold on it. it I mean it looks pretty and all, but it's still chipped up. Don't have any heroics for it. You guys have already seen all of the, you know, diamond rifles. Here's the diamond SMG. Here's the diamond LMGs. They look ridiculous. Sniper rifles, obviously. You've seen that in like all my videos. So we just have the shotguns to do. Uh, we've already finished this one. We're gonna finish this one tonight. Probably finish toggle action tonight. I've heard some pretty bad things about this sawed-off shotgun. If you guys want me to make a video using this sawed-off shotgun, let me know. Let me know down in the comment section or likes or some shit. I don't even know. You guys have just been destroying the comments and the likes and everything like that recently. Just thank you guys so much. Yesterday's video passed over 30,000 likes. Just thank you guys so much again. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent video is popping up on the screen here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, it's been Jeff, guys. Later. I got pussy in my head.